Hello, welcome back to everyone that's tuned into our channel, American Ultra Screw. Here I am joined today by Brayden and Jeff. As you see in Brayden's name and my name, we are talking about USL clubs, USL 2, 1, and Championship. Uh, some of you guys requested, a lot of you actually requested us to make this video. It's a really fun topic. We're going to talk about promotion and relegation in USL 2, but 1, and Championship, but we're not talking strictly about the format of promotion and relegation. We are picking our clubs that you believe that we believe would be getting promoted or not. Uh, uh, should we get started, Braden? For USL two, uh, this is not only the clubs that we think would be promoted, but also ones that we think would be fighting for promotion, which makes it all more fun. Braden, who are your picks for USL two? It's a huge league. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this league is absolutely massive. Over a hundred teams in it, and something's going to have to be done about that, obviously, before they get implemented into promotion relegation. Right now, the only two leagues that are confirmed for it are Championship and League One, but they are looking for a third league, and I expect some sort of USL League Two, even if it's a different format, to be involved in the near future. And if these teams stay in, in the league and join promotion relegation, uh, two of the main teams that I picked were, like you see in Yuri's name, VC Fusion. They won the playoffs last year. They're second in their division this year. They're going to fight for the championship again. And it's the perfect time for them, I think, to, to get promoted. And yeah, I think they could fight in USL 1. Uh, the second main contender that I had was Sean's team. You guys might remember Sean from a couple of videos we made. Long Island Rough Riders, they're the ones who lost the playoff final last year to VC Fusion, and they're top of their division this year as well, which is pretty impressive considering they're in, I think, the biggest or second biggest division in the whole league with 10 teams. Uh, and then a couple outsider picks, not outsider really, but a couple teams that haven't had as much success that I picked are Des Moines Menace, who actually won it two years ago in 2021, made the quarterfinals last year, and are going to be fighting for it again this year. So I, th I think they've been consistently solid for the recent future and could have a pretty good chance. And then the final team I picked was Flint City Bucks, who lost in the semifinals last year to VC Fusion, the eventual champs. And they're leading their division by far, by a lot of points, over 10 uh, this year. So those are the teams I picked that could get promoted from League 2. Nice. Those are great picks, not only because my, of my bias for VC Fusion and just to introduce it to the audience. So I played for their academy for a long time, still have teammates playing there. Plan to play for them in the future again, if possible. But yeah, last due to last year's season, just how it played out, I have to pick VC Fusion. I mean, we're at top of our division again. And I think that one of the reasons why VC Fusion and Rough Riders had such a good run, a solid run last year was because of the quality of the conference, I think there's a huge gap between, I mean, it's over a hundred clubs in the league, a huge gap of quality between some divisions uh, and some conferences. So I picked VC Fusion, Rough Riders, like Braden said, and I picked Thunder Bay Chill, just because I, I think they are playing really well this year. I actually watch a bit of USL too, and I think they play really well. They're top of their division, if I'm not mistaken, and just have some really good goals. I mean, the opponents are not that strong, but if there was to be some sort of promotion, which it is confirmed they're going to try to have three leagues, three tiers once it's implemented. Right now, confirmed it's only championship in USL 1. But yeah, like Braden said, some sort of format for USL 2 would would eventually happen. So I have to pick them, Thunder Bay Chill. And I'll mention Chicago City as well, because I think they did really well in the US Open Cup. And they have a good following. I think a lot of their fans actually like Chicago Fire as well, which is a little bit weird. But I mean, it's not unheard of because, you know, most people have an MLS club and a USL club that they can actually go to games uh, really close by. There's, a, I mean, a hundred, more than a hundred clubs for them to choose from. And just a quick mention to Texas United as well, because I think they're having a good season. Uh, I remember last year when VC Fusion played them as well. It was a tough game and they have a really good academy. So, I mean, they would be the outsiders, but my three picks, VC Fusion, Rough Riders and Thunder Bay Chill, if there was to be a promotion this year. Jeff, over to you. Which clubs did you pick, and do you agree with our picks? Um, well, um, I was gonna say Chicago City too, um, just because, um, well, they're they're a soccer city, and I say that, um, you know, the impact of them, you know, liking the sport, 
it's really um it's really helped them you know the um i'm gonna go a bit off topic here the fire are actually doing pretty decent than they were last year last season you know last season they were like in the bottom two or three and they picked it up um and i'm pretty sure they're in the playoffs right now and you can clearly tell that it impacted chicago's um city as well with how they're doing in usl too um and uh, what can i say they're they're a quality team right now and i picked them to go through um promoted um I'll pick Western Mass Pioneers as well to go through, and I'm gonna pick my my local um, um team, uh, Northern Virginia FC as well. Nice, nice to see you giving your local club some love. Next to USL One, where I definitely won't pick any California clubs to to go through because I don't think they're that good, and nothing against them. I mean, Orange County they always slap up VC Fusion and some friendlies, but I don't think they're going up. I picked Northern Colorado Hailstorm, just really good, a really solid club, really well structured. They made a video a while back of their structure. They actually have a really nice infrastructure, really organized club. A lot of people that do volunteer work there, they don't really make any money as most USL one and two clubs do. The players don't make that much, but it is a really organized club. And I think that they have everything to, they have everything to actually compete in championship if they get promoted, which I expect them to. My next pick would be Richmond Kickers. Not as great of a season this year, but I think when push comes to shove and you know promotions on the line, I back them to go up. They they are a historic club in that league, and I believe that they have enough following as well to put some pressure in other players. And I picked. I was in between Greenville Triumph and Forward Madison. I know Forward Madison is probably better, but I just think that Greenville they had a they have some really good players. Their defense is really solid. And, I think they would be fighting out for that third spot. Probably Ford Madison would just edge it based, based on their quality going forward. Brandon, who do you think would get promoted to the USL Championship? Yeah, just a quick thing I forgot about the League 2 section real quick before I start with League 1. Uh, I had an honorable mention, not actually from League 2, but from NISA, which is another like semi-professional league uh, in the US that someone in our comments mentioned could potentially go out of business due to this USL thing, and I agree. And I think we could see some teams from there come over to USL. And I just wanted to mention Chattanooga FC because they're far and away the best team in the league. And yeah, I think they'd I think they'd do a job in USL as well. But going on to USL League One, uh, my first two teams that I picked are not necessarily due to results right now. The first one, Richmond Kickers, like Yuri mentioned. They're one of the most historic teams in the league. I mean, it's not saying much, but I think they're they're probably the most well-known in the league. They've got a good following. They won the regular season last year. They're not having too good of a year this year, but I think they would get promoted. Not maybe, If not, maybe next year, but pretty soon if promotion and relegation was implemented. Another one is Forward Madison, and their results haven't necessarily been there yet. They're having a pretty good season this year. But they are a new team. Their first season was in 2019. And they just, the big thing for me about them is they have a huge social media presence. And we've seen them have social media impact not only in the US, they've been interacting in other countries as well. I've seen them collabing or sending their kits, which they always have great kits, by the way. But they've been collabing with uh, content creators in the USA, but also in the UK. So I think that their influence could get them a pretty big following once this is implemented and could potentially even draw in some better players that could help them get them promoted. And then for my third team, I was between Union Omaha and Greenville Triumph. Triumph, who have been probably the two best teams over the last five years in USL League One. But I ultimately went for Union Omaha just due to their Open Cup run. Uh, a couple of years ago, I think it was last year actually, they beat Chicago Fire in Minnesota, which is very impressive for a League One team. So I think they have enough quality to go up. Yeah, I was thinking about them too, but yeah, I mean, I think they probably are a better structured team than Greenville Triumph. And just on Madison, it's nice how much of a following they have and presence as well, not only through social media. I think they have a really good PR team, honestly. I think it's bound to happen for them to get promoted at some point. It's one of the clubs that you can bet they'll be in the championship soon. And Jeff, what are your picks for USL 1? 
Um, my picks for USO one, it's kind of pretty similar to what you guys said. Um, I I would choose um Northern Colorado um hailstorm uh, for one of them. I'll choose uh forward Madison and well you can kind of say another local team but state team uh, uh the Richmond Kickers. Um, I was actually lucky enough to see them play um a couple of times when I was in Richmond. Um, I gotta say that they're a pretty historic club. Um, probably the most historic in in their division. Um, you know the players are really cool. I got to meet um some of them and got to play in um in their training ground. They're they're really cool club. You know they're really passionate about the sport and well, I'm I'm really backing them to um to to get promoted if the promotion goes through, of course. And it'd be nice to see another fellow Virginia club, you know, do well. Nice. Would you buy their jersey and support them, Jeff? Yeah, of course. But um, that's if um, you know, I have the time. All right. All right. So going into the championship, where the level? Let me just say this as well. I believe from watching uh, USL, the gap in between the leagues gets bigger as you go down. So uh, I think that USL one destroys USL two, like you've seen with Grandleys from VC Fusion, the champions last year getting destroyed by Orange County. But the gap between USL 1 and Championship isn't that high. And I think that the Championship has some re has some really good clubs at the top. And I think that, I mean, this video could also be, uh, we're going to pick the champions and the teams that would, you know, uh, fight for that Championship, but also get promoted to MLS just for imaginary sake. If there was to be a merge, you know, it's just fun to think of. Uh, ideally, that's what should happen at some point. And I'm picking the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Really good team. Really good team. I mean, really passionate fan base as well. You watch their games, it's always packed. And I mean, that city really, they really love their, their clubs, you know, in all sorts of sports. So I'm picking them. I think they would absolutely get promoted to MLS or fight for the championship again. I was thinking about picking Louisville. Honestly, they got a lot of hype because of their academy kids, you know, Winder going over to Europe. That's always nice to see. But I actually left them out. I'm picking Memphis 901. I think they are, they have a really good player. In my opinion, the most talented player, raw talent in the championship, Knight Pickering. I think he's such a good player, such a good forward. I'll love to see him getting called up to the U20s. He was previously and did pretty well. Uh, I think when he was a U17 player. So yeah, I think that Memphis 901 could definitely do a job. They just played against Sac Republic, which is the other club that I'm, that I'm picking. I think two nights ago I watched the game. They were winning and got equalized in the very last minute against Sac Republic. So Memphis 901, just a really good squad of players. Uh, they're really experienced. Some players that have played in MLS before and abroad. So yeah, Memphis 901 for the following as well. You know, they're they're a tough team. And then I picked Sac Republic, not only because of the Cinderella run in the US Open Cup. I, I just really like them. I think they're a really good club, really good following. Again, none of their games have less than 5,000 people. You know, it's really impressive for a USL, you know, USL level soccer to have that much of a following and such a passionate following. Uh, you go to Sacramento and you actually see people wearing their jerseys on the streets. You know, not a lot of them, but it's not rare to see. So it's really nice. I think they would definitely be in MLS if there, there was to be a merge in no time. And they could, they always fight for the championship. So I'm picking them. And just an honorable mention to Colorado Springs Switchbacks. Uh, I think they're a good team. Again, really a huge following, and I think they're better than the Fire, uh, than the Rapids, to be honest. I think that, you know, even Northern Colorado Hailstorm could play against the Colorado Rapids. I just think the Switchbacks would be fighting for promotion, but ultimately my picks are Pittsburgh, Memphis 901, and Sac Republic. Brandon, do you agree? Is there is it too much difference from my list to yours? Yeah, uh, and you mentioned the, the gap between the leagues, which would probably be one of the primary concerns at first in the USL promotion relegation, but I think if it was implemented, then the gap would generally decrease and hopefully we wouldn't see you know the same teams becoming yo-yo clubs going back up and down you know, every season. And mentioning the gap, I think the gap between MLS and USL Championship is a lot smaller than people might think. I think there's a lot of teams in USL Championship, even some ones that I didn't pick, that could honestly fight against some of the lower tier MLS teams, especially like the likes of Colorado Rapids for sure. Uh, but 
to start, the first team I picked was also Pittsburgh Riverhounds. I've got their backdrop behind me. Absolutely beautiful location right on the river next to the city. And yeah, like you mentioned, they have a great fan base. Uh, they're top of the USL championship right now. Uh, made the, the Open Cup quarterfinals this year, beating uh, Crew and Revolution, two of the top teams in MLS Eastern Conference this year, to get there. And they only lost out to the team who's currently top of MLS right now, it's the Cincinnati. So they're not anyone to be messed with, and I think they'd probably be one of the first to go up if a merger were to happen. Another one I'm going to mention, you said you weren't going to pick them, but I'm going to go for Louisville City. Simply because of the history, they're the second most winningest team in USL Championship history. And we've seen them produce talents like Jonathan Gomez, Josh Winder from the U20 team. And they won the East last year as well. So I'm going to go for them. Another one I'm going to give a quick mention to is San Antonio FC. Uh, they're the reigning champs of USL Championship. And they recently played, actually today, they played a friendly against Sunderland from the actual championship in England. And they actually put up a decent fight. So I don't know. You can't really say too much about that because it's a friendly, but it's pretty impressive for a, a USL team. Uh, two other teams that I'm going to give a quick mention to as well are Sacramento Republic. Like you said, they made that incredible run to the U.S. Open Cup final last year, beat three MLS teams to get there, and they're currently top of the West as well. So super well-run club, great fan base. I think they would definitely do a job in MLS. And finally, Tampa Bay Rowdies. They're just always consistently one of the top couple teams in the league, and they have a really good fan base as well. All right, that's fair. Uh, Jeff, who do you think would get into the MLS if there was to be a merger between ULA, the USL and MLS? Do you agree with our picks? Any picks that we've looked over that you believe are worthy of getting there? Well, um, for one, definitely the Pittsburgh Riverhounds, definitely. Like, they're consistently quality um, um, championship clubs, so no doubt I would pick them. Um, next, um, I choose um, uh, San Antonio. Um, they're definitely um, a good team, like Braden said, reigning champs. Um, and finally, I'm going to choose another shocker, Virginia club, uh, Ladder United. They're not really the, the best, but, you know, they're doing okay um, so far this season. I'm pretty sure they're not far from playoffs. And, you know, they have a history for developing um, quality talents along with um, you know the partnership they have with DC United uh, like um, Kevin Paredes is um, quite possibly the, the most um, um, famous one uh, and then you also have Christian Fletcher another good young player then you have um, uh, a, a good um, a, a decent Salvadorian um, CDM Jeremy Garay he's another one and yeah, I'm def I definitely um, have, have them, uh, you know, maybe shooting for a playoff spot. All right, who would you root for if they play against the Richmond Kickers? I'm just curious. Oh, 100% Loudon, 100%. Oh, they're, nice. more, they're more closer to where I live, more closer. Nice, nice. That's nice to see Jeff giving some love to his local clubs. And yeah, I mean, I think that wraps it up, guys. Uh, it was a really fun video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. Like you see on my on my name, VC Fusion to MLS. It's gonna happen at some point. Just kidding, but thank you so. Much. Any final considerations, guys? Um, Yuri, for a San Diego native, I'm surprised you left out the loyal. Oh wait, I don't uh, like it's because you don't. I don't. But go ahead, go ahead. I'll explain That's a why. shocker. I mean, I thought it was also because I thought I, I had a feeling that you didn't say them either because of, um, you know, San Diego potentially getting an MLS team. That's why. Well, that would be a plausible option. I don't think they're running out of business because San Diego's getting an MLS club. Honestly, I really don't. I think like they put on their statement, they wanted to get to MLS, but didn't have the, the funds to do it. But I'll just explain. I never liked the loyal. I went to multiple games. I have some friends that are hardcore loyal fans. They're, if I show them the video, they're probably going to give me some hate. But I just never liked them. I never liked the colors. I never liked the club. I never liked going to the games. So I don't know. There's just not it for me. But I, I think they would probably fight for promotion and play the how close can I get without actually getting their game. I don't think I would don't back them. Maybe I'm just hating, but 
yeah, I just don't see them getting to MLS if there was to be a merger. Brayden, do you have any final considerations? Yeah, just quickly, it's nice to see Jeff showing some love to his local teams. Uh, I didn't mention any of, of my local teams because, as you can see on my name, I, I live it, by Indy 11, but unfortunately, they are pretty mid right now and don't really see a way out of that for the foreseeable future. So, as much as I would love to see them play MLS, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think it'd be honestly more likely to see them in League One, as sad as that is to say. <laughs> but yeah, and um, lem and let me tell you, as um, I, I didn't mention these two teams, but well, one of them sadly doesn't exist, and the other I would have actually said, um, as you guys know, um, I'm a I'm a New Yorker boy. Um, I would have actually gave love to the Rough Riders, but. Um, you know, um, like, um, by the time I, I was still living there, they weren't that good of a team, you know? And I went, um, to, to their training grounds a couple of times when I had some games with my, um, non-professional team, like when I was younger, uh, they, and they trained by, I think it's Hofstra University, they like, they trained somewhere right by there. I would always go there and I would see the pros, um, training there and also playing, um, some non-competitive games that they had, like friendlies and stuff. And it's a pretty passionate club. And another club I would have actually mentioned is Queensboro FC, but sadly that club doesn't exist anymore thanks to NYCFC wanting to place a stadium in Queens. Well, as much as Queens is very loved and big, it's still, they just ran the club out of business and that just honestly crushed me. It hurt, it burned like hell. I was actually really upset when I heard that they weren't gonna join USL anymore. But yeah, yeah, shout out to those teams. I will always love them. Yeah, Queensboro honestly had a W social media presence. They did. Really good, honestly. Really nice colors. Everything about the club was really nice. But yeah, that's said. But I don't think that the Loyal would be run out of business with the new San Diego club from MLS. I mean, if they do, I don't mind. But uh, I mean, now I'm just hating. But uh, <laughs> that, that's a... That's a uh, a fair take, Jeff. Yeah, I think that Queensboro was a really nice club and I wish they, they would have stayed alive. Then Rough Riders, I just need to mention again, VC Fusion owns them. We'll own them again this year if they get far enough and meet us in the final. We'll, we'll fuse them again. Anything else, guys? No, that's pretty much it. This is actually a nice video given that I don't have that much knowledge on, you know, American um, Soccer League. But, but, you know, it's still nice to be here and learn about these clubs and stuff trying to get me into it yeah it's, i'm definitely gonna follow it even more next year because i'm gonna try out for a few usl2 clubs so I, I need to follow it but regardless it's really nice i mean promotion and relegation again brings something new to us soccer something that is necessary and hopefully we see in the future a merger that would be amazing and even without the merger i think the interest is going to grow for the real hardcore soccer fans i think at least it's it makes it all more exciting and i'll watch all of the tiers for usl next year Thank you guys for sticking around watching the video this far. We appreciate you. Leave us new comments and ideas for future videos. We enjoyed making this one. Like Jeff said, it was really nice. Thank you, Brayden and Jeff. And we'll see you, we'll see you later. Maybe we, we make a, a season review at the end of the year when we celebrate VC Fusion winning again. That would be nice. <laughs> see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. We'll see you. He doesn't speak for all of us. <laughs>